Hey guys, it's me again. Um, so today I'm gonna be teaching you how to make this awesome plus of hat. But 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 it's not just the plus of hat. It's also the accompanying mining hat. Yay! It, I think they look so cute. And to be honest, I'm so happy on how these turned out to be. I mean, I just love everything from them. Um. And so I'm here to help you out to how to do this tutorial. I really like the red one so far. And I'd show you how the blue one looks. But it matches my outfit way more. Okay, so anyways. Um, there's a couple things I want to talk about before we get to the tutorial. Which is the three main things you're going to need. Well, actually four. Um, well, five too if we count the fabric. First of all, let's talk about the fabric. The fabric that was used for this project is fleece and the colors you're going to need is obviously um, ivory for the body or the head um, which is this ivory tannish color. Red of course for pluso and then blue. This is more of a light blue. Um, I forgot what it was called. Um, but yeah, like a lightish but not like pe not light blue completely, but like a uh, shock blue. I don't know. But anyways, let's talk about yards. How much will you be needing to make these two hats entirely? So, um, first of all, I want to say that to make the hats, you're gonna need at least one yard of tan or all ivory. Yeah, you're gonna need a yard. Um, the reason why is because I noticed that if you are careful when you cut everything, you will have um, some left over. You could possibly make another hat of the extra stuff you have, but it's going to be around. You at least get two hats off of one yard, but you can easily fit in a third one if you're careful of the way you cut. Now with this, the red and the blue, you can possibly just use half a yard for each, possibly even less. Um, so it's up to you what you want to get. Also, um, you're going to need a washer for the pattern to bring it down. You're going to need a rotary cutter. It's just easier to use than scissors. And a compass to do the circles you'll see later on in the video. Now I do want to talk about um, um, what this video is mainly about is how to make this basic fleece hat and adding this and this to it. Now, to get the pattern from it, I left the link below and it's from Crafty Gemini. I learned how to make her basic fleece hat off of her. Now, I would recommend you to watch her video if you're new to sewing before you watch mine because she teaches you how to make the basic um, beanie and she gives you the pattern for free. So, it's free for you guys, the pattern. Um, also, um, my video is mainly how to do the hat and then attaching these just so you won't be confused when you're making it um, or feel lost like how will I do this so mine is pretty much a guide how to do her fleece hat but then adding these these um the ears and this and so that's basically it so I hope you enjoy this tutorial and the links are below if you want to watch her video and the pattern is there other than that then let's get moving and I really like this also <laughs> all right let's get woo all right guys so right here I'm just showing you how the basic hat is gonna look and I'm just showing you the pieces that are gonna be sewn on together and then I'm just gonna show you how the ears are supposed to be made basically these are the ears you attach two pieces together my ears were around 16 inches long this is showing you to give yourself some seam allowance so your ears won't come out too small and there we go and then right here, I'm just cutting it to the right size. As you can see, I'm doing two reverse and two right-handed. Because that way, the pretty size will be with the pretty size one flipped over. So here I am, and that part is done. Now I'm doing the bottom part, and I'm going a little bit above that first line, which is why you see a dotted line. And then I'm taking it, and then I'm going ahead and cutting that. And you're going to need four of those pieces to make the ears so there we go you cut it and done basically here I'm just showing you that pretty sides go inwards and then how many pieces you're going to be needing 
So you're going to be needing a total of 16 pieces, and that's what I'm just showing here. And then, okay. Here I'm just telling the, that you're going to need to have both pretty sides and words, because obviously when you sew it up, you're going to be having the... The, uh, the pretty sides outside and I'm just telling you what you're gonna sew you're gonna sew the thin part and then it's going up to wider but you're only sewing the top see right here yeah that's where I'm sewing and the white going down and that's basically it so time to get sewing Woo. so this is what it should look like once it's themed um make sure that it did sew all the way through and if it didn't just go over it again so yeah it sewed all the way through so let's continue that okay once you got all of these stitched up all four of those um which should look something similar like this you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna grab your corresponding ears like so Remember pretty side to pretty side and they're gonna go like this. Make sure your ears match like like so. Ta -ta -da. Check check check. And your seams are on the outside, as you can see. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and sew all the way down around back up do not sew this part in yet do not so let's get sewing our pair of ears and then once you're done you're gonna be flipping them inside out so I already flipped it um, and it should look something like this like you'll fix the edges I mean to make sure that it's completely inside out but then you should end up with something like this. See? Here's one ear, and here's the other one. Da. As you can see, two plus ears. And now I'm going to show you how to touch them. To the beanie so to attach them to the beanie part obviously these two were already sewn in but you got it like this so there's pretty sides in pretty sides in and then you're gonna line it and this is where you yourself decide where do you want the ears obviously if you want them more up, up high you're gonna put them right here around here we want them lower like how I'm gonna do it and make sure you got the seams side to side I'm gonna do it more down here now this is where you're gonna decide um, and see for yourself how even is it gonna be so I usually use my thumb so it's like a thumbs width apart so it could be even on both sides so I'm gonna go ahead and sew from here but remember the ear is gonna be in like this it's gonna be outside like this on the inside out on the pretty sides, you're going to put it in here. It's like a sandwich. And then you'll go ahead, like so. You'll align it. And then you'll go ahead and sew in. And you'll do the same on the other side. So I'll show you um, how it comes out with the first ear. Oh, oops. Just a quick tip, make sure that when you're sewing them into your beanie, that they're facing like this. Like, make sure they're facing opposite, like they make sense. So when you have them on your hat, they won't look loppy like this. But make sure they're facing, the curvy parts are facing each other when sewing. Alright. Okay, now this is what one ear like looks like sewn in. So see how it's backwards, but there's already an ear inside. Now I'm gonna go ahead and sew the other part. And this is how it looks. Sorry if the stitching is, is a little weird. But yeah, this is how the, the outside of the ear, as you can see, and we stitched over. 
Now we're gonna go ahead and do the other side. So here I'm just showing you how it all is done once it's stitched over and then I'm flipping it over to show you what the final product looks like. Like that's how it should look. And then we're gonna be adding the ear flaps but remember that we're doing it the back side so make sure to align it to the back side. Choose what side you want to be the front and one, which one to do the back. Once you figure it out just attach the back. For example I decided to use this side as my back part and I aligned the seams and so there we go. And I'm just telling you that you're going to be sewing it all the way around. Also, make sure your flaps are facing down. So you can, so they should not be in your way when you're doing this. And we're going to pretty much, I'm just fixing it so it's easier for me to, to sew. And I'll be sewing it real quick. you see in the next part of the video. And usually with that, it becomes relatively easy to sew. So let's go ahead and do that. So here I'm just sewing up the whole rim so you can get an idea of what you're supposed to do. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to be flipping the ugly sides outwards and we're going to leave the pretty sides inside and we're going to sew the whole entire rim. Now what I'm going to tell you is make sure you line it up with the back seams. They all should be lined up so your front doesn't look messed up or anything. So once you put that in, line up the back seams as I'm showing you right there and then just sew the rim of the hat and remember to leave half of the flap open because if not how are you going to pull your pretty hat out and as you can see I'll be telling you in a few seconds I'll be pointing out how you're supposed to be leaving half a flap out I'm just showing you that you're sewing the rim except this part leave that open so you can have something to pull out which will be the hat so see sew that up and you'll be done pretty much easy peasy here I am taking it out Woo. So now that everything has been pulled inside out, as you can see, this is what our product looks like so far. The nice sides are all out, which is nice. But we still have this flap that we where we pulled everything out from. So you're just going to go ahead and hand, and you can either hand stitch it or just go over it with your machine. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish sewing this. So here I'm just showing you the end result. I already pulled out everything. I'm putting the top part how it used to be before putting it in. And I'm just showing you how everything looks. And we're almost done here. We just need to side decal. So yeah. So here we are with the last two pieces. This is the plus o signs for the sides of the plus o hat. Just like we did with the mining. So in order to do these, you pretty much just grab scrap pieces from your leftover and you make circles. The way I did the circles though is with a compass. I measured out how wide I wanted it to be. For example, and then I go in a circle and then I retrace it. And then that's pretty much what I did. And then I cut it out and then I just drew a little plus sign and I also cut that thing out. Now like I said I recommend you doing it with the rotary cutter because it's more precise than scissors. For example, I was cutting this one with scissors and look how loppy that that kind of came out compared to the rotary cutter. So yeah. Now the way I'm going to attach these to the side is going to be with um the glue gun so with hot glue I'm gonna attach them so I'm gonna attach them and then I'll show you the final product so basically this is the end result I already stitched the side and as you can see I know this is a plus hole but you can basically do the same thing for mine in it's just different fabric and a subtraction sign on the side so yeah this is pretty much the end product and if there's any other Pokemon you'd like me to see attempt then you can easily request it below but other than that that's pretty much it it's not that hard and you can do it um and there we go okay thanks for watching